Hi folks, this is Forrest again with the Wook Guild doing our walkthrough guides for the different 55 hard mode flashpoints. Right now we are running through and we are encountering the first mini boss, the D4 or the Delta November Tech 314 Tunneler. Uh, this boss um, is pretty much a tank and spank with a mob call. The big thing to keep in mind with uh, this particular boss is he's going to do something called the targeted laser on your tank or whoever has aggro at the moment. Um, this is going to place a stacking debuff on whoever it hits. It must be cleansed or whoever is the target of that targeted laser is going to die a horrible and painful laser field death. The other thing he's going to do periodically through the fight, and I want to say it's starting at 75% and at the 25% uh, increments, the droid is going to summon a bunch of demolition droids. These droids will explode after they get to position, but otherwise aren't really bothersome, and they're easily avoided. Uh, they're going to drop a red reticle on the ground. You can move out of it. Don't even bother DPSing or wasting energy on them. Just wait for them to get in place. They'll blow themselves up. Stay out of the way. Um, if you are in their AoE, when they blow up on you, you're going to be taking anywhere between 3 and about 6k of damage, so just just avoid them. But those are the only two real uh, elements of this fight that you have to keep in mind. Otherwise, uh, it's a good tank and spank. Uh, with our group today, we've got Mitrafeld on his shadow doing the tank. Hello. We've we got Agrasia on another shadow doing DPS. Hello. Bam here will be doing range DPS on his gunslinger. Hi. And I'll just be healing. And when we're all ready to go, we'll start this up. The oh, healer I should note and at the this range point, DPS are on this box over here to avoid the ads. Yeah, yeah that's what I was about to add. Uh, Bam and I have parked ourselves up on top of this box here. Um, as a strategy, basically if you are on these boxes, if you're ranged heals or ranged DPS, it's a nice safe place to stand because when those demolition droids pop up, they will not be able to reach you, they'll target you, they'll explode, but you will take no damage from them. Um, if you aren't in a place where you can avoid them, you know, just position yourself on the ground and stay out of the red circles. And for our normal technique, Mentrafail is dropping his phase walk golden circle of increase healing bonus box. Or the yellow circle of wonderfulness, as I call it. And on you, Min. And a good audible component to that targeted laser is that the droid will say targeting systems locked. And there you see the demolition droids have popped up.
there you go, folks. Quick thing to note about this, with our placement up here, I barely had to drop a heal on myself or Bam. And by dropping the AoE heal on Min, Agrocy was able to stay up the entire time. It was a real basic and straightforward heal for me, and otherwise a nice straightforward fight. So long as you cleanse out that targeted laser, otherwise you'll be spending lots of money on repair costs. And for the Wook Guild, this is Forrest signing off. Be sure to visit us. Visit us. I oh, I can't talk now. Be sure to visit us at WookieRoar.com or follow us on Twitter at Wook Guild. Thanks, folks.